Imagine having a job of where you were told to sit in a chair, not to move, you weren't allowed to speak to anybody in the room, you weren't allowed to get up and have a cup of tea, and if you were caught staring around the room, having a break, you were in big, big trouble. What would you think? Now, if you went to school in the 1970s, 1980s, or even 1990s, this is how the teachers used to treat the children. And I was treated like that. My school was very, very Victorian. And if you were found talking, you were brought to the front of the class and screamed at in front of the whole class. And you were made sure that you were always doing your work and you weren't to be seen staring out the window. And did this help me work better? It made me feel very stressed. I don't know if it did help me work any better. And luckily things have changed now. The classroom is a lot more relaxed and children are allowed a lot more freedom and it's much more fun and interactive. Dyslexic children in particular really, really struggle in them environments where they're told to sit down and be quiet my little girl, she cannot sit still for even a few minutes. So what you need to do is you need to create a working environment that gets the best out of the dyslexic child and that's the way that they'll do their best work. In my dyslexic mum kit, there is a card called Calm Corner to help you do this. And it's a list of ways that you can make the environment dyslexic friendly. So things like not having really loud music or any noise if the dyslexic child finds that overwhelming. Things like letting them get up and just walk about and fidget. Again, at school, I just, oh, I found it so hard to sit still. I just always was fidgeting and always getting in trouble for that reason. Now, other things like not expecting them to do lots of work in one chunk. Because dyslexic children get really, really tired. I know my daughter does. She gets really, really tired. So when I do do homework with her, I don't get her to do more than like 10, 15 minutes. And if she says she's tired, I don't tell her off. And I don't make her feel bad about it. I just say, right, we'll take a break and we'll come back to it. Or maybe we'll come back to it tomorrow. So try the ideas from this card and see if it helps your child and ask them, does this make it easy for you to work? Do you feel happier? And you can even speak to the teachers at the child's school and ask them if they'll be willing to make any of these changes to help the child.